I'm Jace from Coffee Stain Studios. Hi everyone, my name's Jace and I'm the Community Manager and Programmer here at Coffee Stain Studios. That's right, I'm also a programmer and not a lot of people believe that, which is kind of weird. Even some people outside of the office don't believe that. Bizarre. Anyway, today's something special. It's going to be a Let's Play. I cannot wait to show you my skills in Fortnite. It's going to be real- I'm kidding. Going to be showing you vehicles in Satisfactory. So let's just hop straight over to the uh, PC and I'll show you what's up. Alright everybody, here we are in Satisfactory as you can see. Uh, first thing I need to say because otherwise everyone else is going to kill me if I don't, is that a reminder we're in pre-alpha. There's some weird stuff going on. Uh, anything is subject to change. We have some like UI issues. We have maybe some graphical issues, things like that. And yeah. Um, also, the character doesn't have a head anymore. I don't know what happened there, but no head. That's great. Um, and a lot of these things are easy to fix, so don't be too discouraged. Uh, and this is why the alpha hasn't started yet. All right, so let's get on with it. Uh, here are three of our vehicles. This is the tractor, or some of us like to call it the sugar cube. I think that's a really cute name, and we should use it. <laughs> and this is the explorer, and this is the truck. And then behind us is ba 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 nothing. There it is. It's the train. It's over there. So we'll look at the train as well. So let's take the tractor for a, sp uh, for a spin. And that balloon there, <laughs> don't look directly at it. You'll damage your eyes. Okay, so here's the tractor. It's an early game vehicle. You know, there's nothing too special about it. It has a reasonable, it has a reasonable size um, storage. And as you can see, there's no head on the, the character. Um, reasonable size, size storage. And um, it, it doesn't really handle rough terrain that well. Let's see, what else? You know, it's not too fast, but when you get it early game and you start automating it, it's very useful, a uh, good way to carry resources uh, back to your base. So let's, um, let's show off the self-driving, but first on the bottom right hand, you'll see a little fuel icon and that's where we would normally show what fuel you have and how much. Right now there's no fuel in the vehicle, but I'm using cheats so I can drive without fuel. All right, and then below that it says Q, self-driving menu, so I'll hold Q. Now, the automation and self-driving has gone through many iterations and has changed the way it functions many times. So maybe this will change again, but this is what we have now. Uh, you can clear a path, hide path nodes, enable autopilot and start recording. You'll see what the path nodes are in a moment. So let's hit start recording and go for a drive. You'll notice that we're pooping out little blue arrows. So that's um, to be expected, I'm sure. So let's go for a little drive up here. You do need to close the circuit for the vehicles. Uh, for the automation um, because you wouldn't really want it to try and find some path back it doesn't really work that well you, like you really wouldn't want that because maybe you don't want it to come that back the same path or something so there we'll finish the recording we'll enable autopilot and even though I've enabled it it's not driving that is because we have a driver in the vehicle so once we just hop out It'll start driving. There it goes. And so here I'm just following the, the vehicle as it drives around. And the, the, the waypoint system is, you know, not, not super smart. It just goes from waypoint to waypoint. Um, so you, you want to be super careful with how you record the vehicles. You want to make sure that it's a safe and reliable path. Otherwise the vehicle will get stuck and you know, it'll get stuck and then you, it won't complete the circuit and it'll burn off its fuel and it's a pain in the butt to go and fix it. So you wanna make sure you've got a safe um, circuit there. And then, yeah, so these blue arrows are the path nodes which you can hide if you wish as well in that previous menu. So let's move on to the truck. The truck is super nice, I think. Um, it's a big vehicle, it's much faster than the tractor. Um, it's much more reliable with these big wheels and nice suspension. It feels really heavy. It's got a bigger storage size than the, the tractor does. So let's just take it for a little spin. Let's hit these here. You can see it feels really heavy. I think it's really nice. Um, so like there's some rough terrain over here that we can, there's like a little bump in the level over here. You can see that a little ditch. So let's hit that. So, you know, it, it, it handles those things quite nicely. So as you can see here, the, the turning circle is pretty tight, which is super nice. 
And one of the things that helps with that is the, the rear wheels counter steer to the front wheels. Super nice. Uh, another feature that I haven't um, mentioned yet is we actually have drifting in this game. Now the tractor can't drift at all, but the truck can. Just a little bit. Uh, and it's mostly just for handling, just so you know you can do what you want and get, get where you want easily, that the truck can function the way you want it to. So here's a normal turn, and then I'll activate drift. You'll see that it tightens quite a lot, and I hit that uh, spike there. So you can also get some like pretty cool drifts in the truck, but it's it's all pretty slight. So let's see if we can get a there you go. There's a nice little drift there. Yeah, uh, the truck is pretty powerful. It can go up pretty tough terrain like this. Yeah, it's a nice vehicle, very reliable, and of course it can be automated as well. Let's not hit the tractor. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the Explorer. And a little better as well. Um, and as you would expect, because we have this drift feature, this vehicle is much nicer when it comes to drifting. As you can see. We go down here, get some speed. You know, you can get some nice drifts. A lot of the tuning needs to get better. The Explorer is pretty hard to tune well and make it fun and reliable. But, you know, it's getting there. It's gone through many iterations as well and will continue to go through more. It definitely needs some more improvements. So I think the camera could use some more feedback. Obviously, there's no sound in here right now for the Explorer. Um, it's pretty tricky to create the sound for it, but, you know, we're working on it. We'll get that. So I'll see if I can show off some of the Explorer just kind of like grappling the terrain. See, as you can see, it just kind of grabs things and climbs it. It's kind of weird, but, but I like it. You know, it helps you get to hard to reach places. Uh, yeah, so that's the Explorer. Let's go check out the train. Okay, so the train's really cool. You can build tracks really far, so you can use the trains to cross the map yourself because you can drive it. But uh, it's also a nice way to automate um, resources to be delivered. Uh, the trains are really fast as well, so I'm not going remotely as fast as it can go uh, because it's going to go super, super fast. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Now you can automate them as well and I'll show you how that works. Um, so first of all, I'll just go to a, a train station. So here's one that's Hövde there and then there's another one on the other side. And so the st stand so open Hövde, I press Q to open that up, same as automating vehicles and we can add Stanstorp and we can add Hövde to it. We can uh, change how long we want it to stay there at the stop. Let's do five seconds. Cool. And then we'll just jump out and it will do its thing. So there's the next station. It's, where is it? All right, so here's the next station. The train's pulling up. It's a little shaky. Yep. So there you go. Okay, so those are the vehicles that I'm showing today, so let's head back to Standing Jace. All right, everyone, that's all we have time for today. I really hope you found the information interesting and that it'll tie you over till next week. Let us know in the comments what you think about the vehicles. And a bit of news is that we're gonna be trying to keep to a schedule. Like every Wednesday, we wanna put out some information or some content. Uh, and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have uh, one week's gonna be big content, and then the next week will be small, and then big, and then continuing on like that. So last week, was the um, day-night cycle video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's the previous video on this YouTube channel. And this week was this video, which is um, big content. And then next week will be small again, and then big content, so on. Okay, so uh, I'll catch you all later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow on Twitter, join Discord. And if we get 100,000 likes, I'll release the game tomorrow. I'm lying, have a lovely day, bye. Yeah, I look, I look pretty tired again today. I know that everyone in the comments is gonna be like, Ugh, you so, look so tired. Ugh. Get some sleep. Ugh. Shave your beard. That's what you sound like. Yeah. <laughs>